quite moving, maybe because it's so close to Mecca, I'm not sure, but it feels very, very quite moving, maybe because it's so close to Mecca, I'm not sure, but it feels very, very... Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters, I hope you're well. Andrew Garfield, more commonly referred to as Spider-Man, made headlines last month when he said in an interview that the most important thing he cared about at the time was the lives of Palestinians. What could be you know? more important than that right <laughs> yeah. now? <laughs> yeah, maybe the lives of, I don't know, Palestinians in, in Gaza right now? Maybe, maybe that's where we put our hearts and our energy. And and anyone suffering, anyone oppressed, anyone that is suffering under the, the, the weight of the, the, the horrors of our, of our world right now, anyone who doesn't have a choice in, in um, you know, living lives of, of dignity, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's where our energy should be going right now. As soon as he made those words expressing his concern and support for Palestinian lives, his video went viral, putting him on the radar of some powerful people who did not like what Andrew expressed so bravely. Andrew has once again dared to do something that would make individuals even more frustrated than they were before. What did he do this time? Why is Andrew constantly in the spotlight? Let's check out this viral video to find out for ourselves. Hi. Hi. And welcome to IGM Middle East. We are Salam. so glad to have you here. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Hi. <laughs> Nice to see you. It's a powerful place. It's yes. a very powerful um, land here and, this, and the atmosphere and the energy of this place I find quite moving, maybe because it's so close to Mecca, I'm not sure, but it feels very, very... It did always have its, its own feeling. By being kind to each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, it takes a lot of, you know, inshallah, you know, it's, it's, you have to be very, very kind to each other. Yeah. And you have to be very respectful. And another film called The Magic Faraway Tree, which will, this is a family film, okay. which hopefully will be coming out next year as well. We'll see, I hope. Inshallah. This video is from an interview with Andrew Garfield conducted by IGN Middle East in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia at the 4th Red Sea International Film Festival. The actor was also present to advertise his forthcoming movie, We Live in Time, which had its premiere during the same festival and will open theaters all across the Middle East later this month. But this is not the reason why the clip is going viral. The clip is going viral for another very significant reason. Assalamu alaikum was the greeting that Andrew Garfield used to welcome his host in the video, even if the presenter greeted the audience with a hi at the outset. In addition, Andrew shared his impressions about Saudi Arabia with the host, saying that the country is powerful, energetic, and emotional due to its closeness to Mecca. Wow. Andrew continued by saying, Inshallah, multiple times throughout the two-minute interview, even though the host never said it once. MashaAllah. If one were unaware that Andrew is Jewish, one might easily perceive him as a Muslim based solely on this brief clip. We exist in a period marked by significant Islamophobia, where even a Muslim may feel compelled to conceal their identity by refraining from saying Assalamu Alaikum, Insha'Allah, MashaAllah, or Alhamdulillah on global platforms. Despite using these expressions casually in their everyday life, here we observe a Jewish man speaking as if he were a Muslim, expressing deep emotions as a believer from within. He expressed a deep sense of being touched, possibly because of his closeness to Mecca, indicating that the sacred city is impacting Andrew. Since the onset of the brutal assault on Gaza over the past year, the Jewish community has divided into two factions. One group primarily residing in Israel seeks to amplify the suffering of Muslims, particularly Palestinians, while the other group, which seems to include Andrew Garfield demonstrates empathy towards Muslims and has developed a newfound respect for Islam. This shift in perspective stems from a recognition that Islam is not the root cause of all issues, contrary to its portrayal in media, politics, and films. Another aspect to observe in this clip is the insights about the movie that Andrew shared with the host. Um, I, I, it felt like a film that um, was about things that I care about. Um, about living lives of meaning, full lives of meaning, and and how how difficult that is, yeah. how much it costs to live a full life of meaning and love, because we inevitably lose everyone that we love at some point, yeah. whether it's through breaking up or 
falling out or death. So it felt like a very, again, profound film. He expressed his desire to engage in a project that explores the profound meaning of life, how to lead a life rich in significance, and the understanding that worldly life is fleeting, as eventually we must part from those we love. This concept is closely tied to Islam, as Muslims are reminded not to attach their hearts to anything in this world and to lead a meaningful life for which they will be accountable in the hereafter. If Andrew were to reflect on his statements or his sense of connection to Muslim culture, Mecca, and his empathy for the Palestinians, he might conclude that he's leaning somewhat towards the Islamic faith. It seems that the Spider-Man has the potential to declare the Shahada at any moment. What are your thoughts on this prediction? Is there something too bizarre or something that could never happen? Or is there a genuine possibility of Spider-Man praying Salah someday? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all to the straight path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala end the suffering of the Palestinians. Ameen.